Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Mega Mewtwo Y from Pokemon. So let's go ahead and start with the eye. I'm going to have the character facing in that direction. So we're going to start with the right eye on the inside, going up to the top edge of the eye with a curve. Along the bottom here, I'm just going to move in a little bit on the left and draw a half oval for the eye. From here, let's go on the inside here and just draw two little lines coming down. And on the edge, on the outside here, I'm just going to draw a curve coming towards the eye for the bottom part of the eyelid. Let's go ahead and draw a little wrinkle for the brow. So up here, I'm just going to draw a little curve going up. We're going to go ahead and draw the profile of the face. So I'm going to imagine this curve of the upper brow coming along the bottom here. So I'm just going to draw a little curve to indicate the upper brow of the left eye. From this side, I'm just going to go straight down. And then I'm going to draw a curve going up to the mouth. So I'm just going to curve up. And then just kind of come down in the opposite direction. So just kind of flattening it out as I get towards the edge of the mouth. I'm going to come and do an overlap here. And just draw the bottom chin with a little curve like that. And let's draw the nostril. So right here I'm just going to draw a little line like that. Let's go ahead and go to the top of the head. From here I want to draw a big curve for the head. Because this is going to turn into that head tail that goes all the way around the body. So I want to come up pretty high. I'm going to go up to about here. But I'm going to leave a gap here because I need to draw that ring that connects the two ears. So starting here, I'm going to go up, straight, and then curve that out. And I'm going to round this out as I get to the top, and just continue back to right about there. From here, I'm going to draw in that one right horn first. So starting on the top edge of this eye, leave a little bit of a space. I'm just going to curve up to the line. From here, I'm going to come down at an angle, just like this. Let's go ahead and duplicate that to the back side, on the left side here. So I just want to get the same height. So I'm just going to put a point right there. I'm going to draw a diagonal line coming down just like I did over here and then rounding out the front edge. From here I'm going to draw that ring that goes around the head. So right here on this corner where the ear meets the head, I'm going to move over a little bit and just draw a curve that connects to this ear on the right side. So curving up and coming around that opening and then right into that ear. Let's go ahead and just close this off just a little bit. From here, I'm going to go up to this edge and then just curve around to the outer side so it gets a little bit wider as it gets over on this side. So starting on the inside, I'm just going to trace around. So you can see I'm just leaving a space in between. And as I get around here, I'm going to widen out and then come in. So it's kind of wider as it gets to the edge. From here, I'm going to draw the inner part of this ring. So right about here, I'm just going to curve the back side of that ring. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to leave the head for now. We're going to get down to the body. So let's draw the neck. So right under this chin, I'm going to draw two straight lines side by side, just like that. We're going to draw in just the shoulders for now. So I'm just going to draw a curve going to the left, and then a curve going to the right. Let's go ahead and draw the upper body and torso. So I'm going to draw the body to right about where my finger is. Let's start on the profile edge. So starting under this armpit on the left, I'm going to curve out. And then I'm going to round out and just bring it in the opposite direction in towards the center of the body here. Let's go ahead and draw that chest bone or that chest detail. So right up here under this neckline, I'm going to curve up to this line and then curve in the opposite direction coming in. I'm going to curve out again and then I'm just going to curve this back in to the lower torso. Let's go ahead and just clean that up just a little bit. Okay, from this point, I want to draw in the things that overlap on top of each other. So the first thing I want to draw is this arm because it overlaps on top of the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this arm coming down straight in this angle here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the arm down to right about the same level as the lower torso. So from here, I'm just going to continue this line and come down to towards the elbow. Now the hands or the forearms are just big sort of bulbous sort of shapes. So from this point, I'm going to curve around towards the hand. I'm going to go down to the armpit here. I'm just going to draw a curve. It comes around like this. From here I want to curve back in the opposite direction to right about there. This is where I want to start to overlap some fingers. So right here I want to overlap one finger and that's basically an oval that overlaps that line like this. From here I want to draw the second finger but this is sort of like a bent oval. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here I'm going to roll around like this and then just curve it back in. From here I want to imagine this line on this hand coming behind that finger, into that finger, and then I'm just going to close that edge off there. I'm going to draw one more finger just behind the hand here. So I'm just going to start up here 
and just notice behind. So it looks like it's sort of poking out from behind the hand. Let's go ahead and draw the back of the body here. So from here on the armpit, I'm going to come down a bit and just draw an angled line coming inwards. From here, I'm going to come in the opposite direction. Just a short little line like this. Now this is where I overlap the leg, the front leg here on top of the body. So I'm just going to go over past the body here. I'm just going to draw a curve coming down towards the knees. So the legs I'm going to draw probably down to about here. The legs are probably the same length as the body. So the knees are going to be halfway there. So up here I'm just going to draw a curve going around and in like this. Now the bottom part of the legs are going to come down to about here. So from this point, I want to go in the opposite direction like this. Let's go ahead and go back to the top here. I'm going to round out the hip and come straight down and then kick out as I get towards the back of the knee. From this point I'm going to go right in the opposite direction coming in towards the left. From here I want to draw in a series of toes. So right here, sort of like I did with the hand, I'm going to draw a big elongated oval for one toe. And then here in the middle, the big toe, I'm going to have to draw sort of what looks like a raindrop. So I'm going to come down to here, I'm going to curve down towards the right, and then down towards the bottom of the toe. And then from this point, I'm just going to curve right up into that point. Let's go ahead and finish off this toe. So from here, I'm going to curve around that big toe, and just wrap around the back like that. Here, I want to do what I did over here, and just drop a toe in behind the foot. So drawing a curve that goes like that. Let's go ahead and draw that same leg on the back side here. So I'm going to start the hips at the same height, and come down towards the knees at the same height. So up here, I'm going to draw a curve going towards the knee, and then I'm going to go in the opposite direction, just down to here, so curving out. Let's go to the back of the leg, so from here I'm going to curve to the back of the knee like that. And then I'm going to curve in towards the toes, leaving a gap. Let's draw on the first toe, so big elongated oval. Then I'm going to draw that raindrop shape over here. So starting at the front, top, curving back and down, and then curving this all the way back to the top again. From this line, I'm just going to curve and tuck this in behind that big toe. Just finish and close that off there. Let's go ahead and draw a toe in the back with a curve. Let's draw on the back arm. So similar to what I did here, I'm going to draw a big sort of bulbous hand. So I want to draw the hands to the same height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shoulder, and curve out, and then down towards the hand. Here I'm going to draw a series of fingers. So here, like I did here, I'm going to draw an oval for one finger. Let's draw one tucked in behind this. And I'll draw probably one more sort of tucked in behind that leg. I'm just going to draw an oval sort of on its side like that. I'm going to draw the back side of the hand, just close that off like so. And then up here I'm going to draw in the arm. So I'm just going to make it thinner at the top like I did on the right. Just kind of curve it out like that. From here, let's go ahead and finish this off with a big head tail that comes around the body like this. So what I want to do is I want to imagine this curve going behind this ring around the head and curving down behind the body. So up here, I'm just going to draw a big curve coming around behind that leg. This is going to continue behind in between the legs. So I'm going to imagine this line coming down this way. Let's go ahead and finish the bottom part of the head. So this, this tail on the bottom is going to come in, but it's going to get thinner as I get towards the end. So from here, I'm going to curve around, and it's going to start to get thinner. And I'm going to go behind that hand, and imagine this coming down here. It's going to get thinner even over here. Now from here, I want to draw the top part coming around, because this is where the swirl happens. So imagine this curve coming around like this, and it's going to continue here. So I'm going to curve around then come down. From this point, I want to continue this and just draw a swirl like that. Now from here, this line is going to come in. And just get really thin here and just come in and connect to there. Let's draw a separation line for the color. Up here, we're going to draw a curve going around so it makes it look like it's in a little bit of a cylinder shape. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Mega Mewtwo Y from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and make sure you check out our Pokemon playlist. I'll be adding more characters every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.